Well, welcome to Thursday's Coffee with Job. Apologies, it's a wee bit late. Um, as we were looking at, at Eli Hughes' remarks in chapter 35, just at the end of chapter 35, there's one verse that I want to actually go back to because I think it's really important. So Job opens his mouth with empty talk. Without knowledge, he multiplies words. We live... It's interesting, the power of words. I don't know if you've been caught up with this Wordle thing, and I'm sorry, but you won't see me posting Wordle, uh, my Wordle graph or whatever. But I, I do actually enjoy doing it. I think it's genius. Um, if you don't know what Wordle is, it's just a game that a guy in Cambridge invented for his girlfriend. I think he just sold it for a million dollars or something to the New York Times. But it's just, you, you guess a word. And you can only do it once, so you can't become addicted. Once a day, you can't become addicted. To it during the day um, uh, it's quite fascinating but it, uh, you know our interest in words and words are used a lot there are millions of words printed every year millions and just think how many words are said look I mean I'm talking to you. we we have this ability to communicate and that's one of the unique things about human beings I mean, our God is a God who communicates. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God spoke, and the creation came into being. It's through the, the powerful speech of God. And we as human beings can communicate through words. I mean, th there is this ridiculous phrase that's attributed to Francis of Assisi, um, which is almost certainly not true of him. You know, preach the gospel often, and if you have to, use words. You know, now... The idea that you could preach without words is, is ridiculous. I, I was once sent into a Christian bookshop. Someone asked me to go and get, I thought it was a joke, but they asked me to go and get a gospel nut and a wordless book. Well, anyway, but here's the problem. Empty talk and multiplying words. Yak, 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 yak. It goes on, it goes on, it goes on. And with social media, with 24-7 news, with the what Ecclesiastes says of making many books there is no end and much study wearies the body. You can just get sick, tired of the words um, and sometimes we need silence and so on. But words are really important to communicate. Words heal, words build up, words challenge, words inform, words this is, this is God's word. God brings us his word. But that phrase, without knowledge, he multiplies words. I think that is something we need to be very, very careful about. One of the ways I learn is by saying something and having people correct me and, and challenge me and so on. One of the ways I learn is by asking questions. And I wrestle with words and think about how to express things. Um, but I think all of us, and I'm including me in this, we need to be careful about the misuse of words, gossip, lies, slander, inappropriate anger. Just talking about what we do not know. But we also need to make sure that not just that we avoid, we could avoid all those things by never saying anything. But we do need to speak and we do need to communicate. And I guess where I come in with this is we need the knowledge of Christ. We need the knowledge of his word. We need the knowledge of his world. We need to get to know people. But most of all, I think this, what Paul says in Ephesians, we need to speak the truth with love. You know, at the end of the day, I think it's Dick Lucas who says that in Christianity, truth is found in a person, Jesus Christ. And there's a sense in which all our words must point to the word. So um, when I do this stuff here, I'm just taking God's word, thinking about it out loud, trying to apply it to my context and to your context. I hope that it's with, not without we're, just, we're not just multiplying words without knowledge. And I hope it's not empty talk. We'll be back tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.